Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Masterpiece Theatre SharePoint, presented <laughs> to you in part by Mensa and Mountain Dew. Unofficially. <laughs> Unofficially, of course. Today's topic, we'd like to discuss Crescent and how it really affects the uh, current landscape of SharePoint reporting. You should really now call it by its official name, Power View. Power, it's official called Power View? That's the official name. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Uh, separated works, no camel case. Wait, no camel case? Nope, no camel case. This is a really big departure. Yep, uh, they announced it a couple days ago. So, yeah, so Power this View. Is, this is part of the Denali release? This is part of the, yes, it is a very end user focused part of the Denali release, which That's is a big cool. divergence from typical SQL Server releases in the past, I yeah. think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's been mostly sort of like back-end stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's it's completely connected to SharePoint. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of odd that it's not like it, part of the SharePoint release, that it's part of the sort of like... Yeah, they didn't mention it in the keynote at all, right? Right. And SBC. So, anyways, cre sorry, cre Crescent's a cooler name than Power View, although it doesn't really convey what it is. Well, does but Power View? No, but it views it's kind of like power looking like you know <laughs> yeah. they've already co-opted with power. You kind of know it means some sort of like report look that for the for presentations. Like you think like I'm gonna look at a slide or something, right? Yeah, so, I see. I, I like the but I like the name Crescent. It's quite no, me too. Refreshing, <laughs> not unlike Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, right, exactly. Chris. <clears throat> so, what? Crescent essentially is is like a way to visualize your what what kind of data? Um, your Power Pivot data. Um, Just yeah. Power Pivot or any? Other no, there's data? there's other types of data sources. Um, but they have to be within like the MS MSBI. Yeah, they're all basically Power Pivot data sources. Okay. You can call it what you want to call it, but they all kind of connect to Power Pivot in one way or another. That's really the the back-end data for, um, for Power View. Right, I mean, so it's basically any sort of ADO.NET sort of um, connection. Okay. So you can probably bring in web service, a web service connection, a SQL connection, maybe some Hadoop, that sort of thing. Oh yeah, they were talking about Hadoop a lot. Yeah, so okay. Hadoop is this pretty cool... Um, it's a cool name. Yeah, it's, it's a very an cool elephant. Name. That logo is an elephant. Oh, I know that. Yeah, it's a yellow elephant. A yellow elephant. But um, Hadoop is sort of like a MapReduce from Amazon, where it's a really interesting way to crunch a large amount of data into a very small space. Uh -huh. Like a black hole or something? Yeah, it's actually very much like that. So okay. it takes a lot of things together, and it's a really interesting way to visualize it. Um, and it's completely different than a standard relational database model. Mm -hmm. So where things are in like tables and columns and such like that, Hadoop really sort of like crunches it together and makes it much more compact. Okay. And then does it have to pass through Power Pivot for it to work with uh, Power View? Or can it can Power View just pull it straight from a Hadoop database? Um, as far as I know, it can only work with Power Pivot. Okay. Information. That's not to say you couldn't pull your your information from elsewhere into right. Power Pivot okay. and, and do it that way. I see. So this is this a good thing for Power Pivot? Then it's not like a rivalry. It's like an it's no, an enhancement. It's, it's like an enhancement. Okay. It's, it's it's better data visualization um, created by end users. Um, okay. It keeps end users out of Report Builder and into a drag and drop interface that's that's easier for them to use. You know, no queries. Um, uh, you mm -hmm. can filter filter uh, data with checkboxes, so it's 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 pretty powerful. I mean, that sounds like better overall. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, I don't want. I mean, we have some pretty powerful end users here. I'd be I'd be okay with Claire writing a query, but like at a lot of companies, you sort of have people who don't really have any idea what computers do. No, I think it's really aimed at the kind of office worker crowd. Um, there's no client. Um, it's all through the web browser. Oh yeah, it's um, all uh, Silverlight and XAML, basically. Which is surprising since they just said uh, Windows Server 8 core conference that Silverlight will pretty much be no more. So Yeah, uh, but I, um, they've been, I mean, we know some of the people on the Crescent team. Um, mm -hmm. Some I'm actually uh, former employees of ours uh, used to work, uh, they used to work here, are now working on the Crescent team. Um, and I think it's basically they've been doing it for a while. And, but a yeah. lot, to be honest, a lot of the stuff that Crescent does 
is backend stuff. So it can be easily ported to HTML5. Well, not easily, but it could definitely be ported. And the really hard work is the science behind it, which I mean is a solved problem. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see version 2 out with like an HTML5. Probably. I, I'd imagine the same. Hmm. Well, I thought, like, uh, I was watching a Mir's video, like, demo, where we demoed at whatever conference, like, last November, and I thought, like, the really, the thing I hadn't seen before was, like, the animated progress tracking, like, you could pinpoint data points on, like, a scatter plot and then animate them through the year so you saw them go up and down, and I thought, yeah, that really, like, made it Definitely pop to me. Definitely a silver thing, for sure. Um, another cool feature I saw was, um, what they call storyboard, which lets you drop uh, power view data into into PowerPoint, um, and it's actually live data, so you can actually modify the data within PowerPoint. So when you're giving a presentation, you could actually um, change the data on the fly, which is really cool. Yeah, and I, I know a lot of our customers are always asking for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They really want that dynamic presentation. Yeah, um, it'd be, it, it's interesting to see them go for the direct into PowerPoint, not to sort of a, uh, a new presentation model, but... Uh, it'll PowerPoint be is what people, like those end users are so familiar with, though, so... Yeah, I, I'm not a huge, so, to, in interest of full disclosure, I do not <laughs> like PowerPoint. <laughs> Wait, you're not the one that hates bullets, though, is that... I not? hate bullets, though. Oh. I, How does it tie into Azure? Um, so, it would definitely work on Azure. So, okay. the idea is that you've got this sort of idea of a cloud-based system, and with a cloud-based system, it's a lot harder to, to deal with um, the communication with desktop clients. Mm -hmm. But since it's all web-based, yeah. you don't have to worry about that stuff. Like, it makes things so much easier. And it makes things render so much faster. But I'm a little confused because it's web-based, but it's within your SharePoint installation, right? So... So that would mean that your SharePoint installation would be in Azure. So you could have Oh, okay. Your... But what if we have, like, what we... Ha like, if you had a SharePoint... A traditional SharePoint installation. You'd like need. Your, um, how would you get it to work? You would need SharePoint SP1. Uh, you need the latest CTP, the Down the Alley release. Um, you need like the the engine part, the reporting services part, uh, Power Pivot. Then you would have to all install that. Um, you'd all have to sync that up to SharePoint. Okay. So yeah, it, we could all. It, you basically all want it to live in the same infrastructure. Uh -huh. So if you're sort of um, on location. You want all everything installed on location. If you're on the cloud, you want everything installed on the cloud. Yeah. It'll just make everything so much faster. <laughs> what about Tableau? Is this gonna? What's this gonna? What impact is this gonna have on Tableau? I, I think. Um, I mean, Tableau is a great product, but I think this is gonna blow it out of the water. I mean, it's just it's gonna be part of the whole system. You're gonna get it basically for free. There's gonna be no reason to go to a third-party tool. Right. And it's gonna blow SSRS out of the water. And it's so pretty. So, um, <laughs> is there anything else? Uh, is there, so, is there anything else that, um, I mean, there's the new RDLX, right? Yeah, there's a new, there's a new file format. Um, it's unfortunately, or not unfortunately, incompatible with uh, previous RDLs. So, it's not like you can use uh, previous RDLs with um, PowerView. But Actually, that's it's probably kind of, a good thing. It, to be expected. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Cool. So CTP3 is out there. Um, Denali CTP3 is out there. It was released in July. Uh, SQL Server 2012. Is that what they're calling? Mm -hmm. It's really, again, two cool names, now two boring, yeah, non-descriptive names. I'd watch the movie Denali. Again. If there was a movie called Denali, would you I watch know, it? It's a good, okay. I mean, it does it's sound a little bit, yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like... Car, no, I, it's something like an action movie to me. I like, feel like it's something that like Dodge would make at their upper end. Ooh, I would <laughs> definitely some leather. Some Jesse, stitch doesn't leather. GMC make the Denali? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone makes the Never mind, I'm not yeah. that original. Um, yeah. But yeah, so. So we're going to talk about next time. Um, next time we want to talk about. Maybe SharePoint for BlackBerry. If I get oh, yeah. Installed. SharePoint Rims, for BlackBerry. Rims to SharePoint client. You might even do a, a demo. Yeah, that'd be Ooh. pretty cool since there's nothing out there about it. And you can't evaluate it from room. But that's another story. That's All what right. we're here for the inside scoop. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye.